Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss about operations and integers. First, let us have the addition of integers. We all know that integers are consist of zero, positive integers, and negative integers. Remember that a pair of one positive and one negative, it makes zero. Paano ba tayo mag-add ng integers? We can use number tiles to add integers. For example, we have positive 5 plus positive 2. That is equivalent to... So, since ang unang integer natin ay meron tayong 5 positive tiles at yung pangalawa ay may 2 positive tiles, therefore, meron tayong 7 positive tiles. So, that means positive 5 plus positive 2 is equal to positive 7. Next example, negative 4 plus negative 3. So, negative 4 means we have 4 negative tiles. Negative 3 means we have 3 negative tiles. Kung pagsasamahin natin yan, meron tayong 7 negative tiles. Therefore, negative 4 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 7. Another example is negative 5 plus positive 3. So, meron tayong 5 negative at meron tayong 3 positive. Sabi natin kanina, 1 positive and 1 negative makes 0. So, ibig sabihin, magtatanggal tayo ng pair of 1 positive tile and 1 negative tile. Another 1 and another 1. So, kung wala na tayong tatanggalin, ang natira na lang sa atin ay dalawang negative tiles. So, ibig sabihin, negative 5 plus positive 3 is equal to negative 2. Next uh, example is negative 2 plus positive 6. So, meron tayong dalawang negative tile, tapos meron tayong anim na, ne na positive tiles. So, we will cross out yung pair ng one negative tile and one positive tile. Then, another one. Tapos, kung mapapansin natin, ang natira na lang ay 4 positive tiles. So, ibig sabihin, negative 2 plus positive 6 is equal to positive 4. So, mula dun sa example natin, we can conclude that the rules in addition of integers, we have for like sign and we have for unlike sign. Sa like sign natin, sabi niya, we just simply add the absolute value of the addends, then copy the sign of the given integers. So, for example nga, yung positive 9 plus positive 7. Since pareha silang positive, we just simply add the numbers. Then, 9 plus 7 is 16. And dahil pareha silang positive, so ibig sabihin, sagot natin, positive 16 yung sagot. Another one. Negative 5 plus negative 5. Parehas silang negative. So, 5 plus 5 is 10. And parehas din silang negative, kaya ang sagot, negative 10. For unlike sign, we have subtract the absolute value of the addends, then copy the sign of the integer with greater absolute value. Ibig sabihin, kapag magkaiba sila ng sign, uh, isa positive, isa negative, subtract lang natin yung numbers. Then, kung sino yung may pinakamalaking absolute value, kung ano yung corresponding sign niya, yun yung gagamitin natin sa sagot. For example, negative 9 plus positive 4. So, isang negative, isang positive. So, we just simply subtract. 9 minus 4 is 5. And then, sino bang mas malaki yung number? Yung 9 or yung 4? So, yung 9. Ano yung corresponding sign ni 9? Negative. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is negative 5. Another one. Negative 6 plus positive 8. So, isang negative, isang positive. So, we just subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. Then, mas malaki yung number 8 kesa sa number 6. So, ang sign ng 8 ay positive. So, that means, ang sagot natin is positive 2. Let's see kung naintindihan niyo yung rules in addition of integers. I want you to try this. You add the following, post it for a while, and then kapag may sagot ka na, pwede mo na ulit i-continue yung video para ma-check mo yung sagot mo. 
Okay, it seems may sagot ka na. So, let's see kung tama yung sagot mo. Oh, I hope na nakakuha ka ng perfect 10. In it case na hindi ka nakakuha ng perfect 10, pwede mong balikan ulit yung rules in addition of integers at yung example natin para makita mo kung saan ka nagkamali at kung paano mo siya itatama. The next operation that we have is the subtraction of integers. Um, dito, sa subtraction of integers natin, hindi mo siya maiintindihan, hindi mo rin siya magagawa kung hindi mo pa naiintindihan ang addition of, it, of integers. So, ang suggestion ko, bago ka mag-proceed dito, siguraduhin mo muna na intindihan mo yung rules sa addition of integers. Now, sa subtraction of integers natin, pwede natin gamitin yung method na madali para sa akin. Um, Okay, na pwede nyo rin i-apply. Um, so, dito sa subtraction of integers, gumagamit tayo ng K, C, C, which means keep, change, change. And then, once we have the K, C, C, we can apply now the rules in addition of integers. So, para mas maintindihan ako, let's have an example. Um, okay, negative 5 minus positive 2. So, pag sinabi natin KCC, that means we are going to keep the sign or we are going to keep the integer, this is the first integer and then we are going to change the sign of the operation into addition and then we are going to change the sign of the second integer, yung opposite niya lang. So, in this case, so we have negative 5 minus positive 2 so, yung negative 5, we just simply keep. And then, yung subtraction magiging addition and then yung positive 2 magiging negative 2 and then once na na, na uh, lipat na natin siya using KCC by the way etong negative 5 plus negative 2 yan yung tinatawag na addition form of negative 5 minus positive 2 okay so once na nagawa na natin yan mapapansin mo parehas na silang negative so, kung parehas silang negative, sabi natin sa addition of integers, pag parehas ng sign, we just simply add the numbers. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. And since parehas silang negative, pagdating sa sagot, we have negative 7. Okay? So, yun na siya. Another example, negative 4 minus negative 3. So, sabi natin, we just simply keep, change, change. So, we keep the negative 4, we change the subtraction into addition, and then we change the negative 3 to positive 3. So, negative 4 plus positive 3. So, unlike sign siya. So, sabi natin sa addition of integers, pag unlike sign, we are going to subtract the numbers. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. And then, mas malaki yung number na 4 kesa kay 3 at ang sign ni 4 ay negative, ibig sabihin, sa sagot natin, negative 4 minus negative 3, that is equal to negative 1. Okay? Next example, positive 5 minus negative 3. So, sabi natin, we just simply keep, change, then change. So, positive 5 plus positive 3 like sign. So, ibig sabihin, pag-aadin natin yung numbers. 5 plus 3 is 8. And then, pareha silang positive. So, positive 5 minus negative 3, that's equal to positive 8. Last example, we have negative 2 minus positive 6. So, apply natin. KCC. Keep, change, change. So, negative 2 plus negative 6, so that is like sign. So, if like sign, we just simply add the numbers. 2 plus 6 is 8. And both of them are uh, negative, kaya sa sagot natin, negative 2 minus positive 6, that is equal to negative 8. So, meaning to say, so rules in subtraction of integers, we change the sign of the subtrahend, which is the second integer, and then add to the minuend, which is the first integer. So, yun nga po yung ginagawa natin KCC. So, another example para mas maintindihan, positive 2 minus positive 9. So, that means keep, change, change. So, that will become positive 2 
plus negative 9. So, magkaiba ng sign, ibig sabihin, we're going to subtract. 9 minus 2 is 7. Mas malaki yung number na 9, kaya ang gagamitin natin na sign ay negative. So, therefore, positive 2 minus positive 9 is negative 7. Next, negative 2 minus negative 11. So, play natin, KCC, keep, change, change. So, we have negative 2 plus 11. So, unlike sign, ibig sabihin, we subtract. 11 minus 2 is 9. And then, mas malaki yung number na 11 compared to 2. At yung sign ng 11 ay positive. That means, negative 2 minus negative 11 is positive 9. Okay, next. Negative 4 minus positive 4. So, we have to change the sign of the subtrahend, yung second integer, and then i-add natin sa first integer. So, that's negative 4 plus negative 4. So, pareha silang negative. So, that means we add the numbers. 4 plus 4 is 8. And then, parehas din silang negative, kaya sa sagot, negative 8. Next, positive 6 minus negative 2. So, change the subtrahend, change natin yung sign ng second integer, and then i-add natin siya sa first integer. So, that will become positive 6 plus positive 2. So, parehas positive, that means 6 plus 2 is 8. And then, parehas positive, kaya sa sagot, positive 6 minus negative 2 is positive 8. I hope na naiintindihan niyo yung rules in subtraction of integers. So, so, I want you to try this again. Uh, write first the addition form and then you subtract the following. Okay? So, i-post mo muna ulit tong video na to and then once na may sagot ka na, pwede mo na ulit siyang i-continue. Okay, I guess may sagot ka na and then let's see kung tama yung sagot mo. So, sabi natin, write first the addition and then you're going to subtract na. Okay? So, I hope na nakakuha ka ng perfect 20 because one check for the addition form and one check for the, the answer of the subtraction of integers. So, kung sakaling hindi mo pa rin siya, hindi mo siya na perfect or medyo mababa yung scores mo dito, uh, balikan mo lang ulit yung examples natin kanina para makita mo kung saan ka nagkamali at kung ano ang dapat mong gawin para maitama yung mali mo. Another operation that we have is the multiplication of integers. So, sa rules in multiplication of integers, meron pa rin tayong dalawa na kailangan natin sundin. So, the first one says, if two factors, the multiplicand, which is the first integer, and multiplier, which is the second integer, have the same sign, then the product is positive. Ibig sabihin, pag nagmumultiply tayo ng parehas positive, parehas negative, laging ang product niya ay positive. So, for example, Positive 4 times positive 6. So, pareha silang positive. Ibig sabihin sa sagot, positive din siya. Then, 4 times 6, that is equal to 24. Ibig sabihin, positive 4 times positive 6 is positive 24. Another one, negative 5 times negative 8. So, pareha silang negative. So, pagdating sa sagot, positive na siya. Then, 5 times 8 is 40. Therefore, negative 5 times negative 8 is positive 40. So, tatandaan, pag magkaparehas ng sign yung minumultiply natin, regardless positive siya or negative, laging positive ang sagot. Okay? The next rule in multiplication of integers state that if two factors, the multiplicand, which is the first integer, and the multiplier, the second integer, have the different sign, then the product is negative. So, for example, negative 2 times positive 3. So, magkaiba ng sign. So, pag magkaiba ng sign, ang product natin ay negative. Then, 2 times 3, 6. So, ibig sabihin, negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. Another one, positive 5 times negative 6. So, magkaiba ulit. Isang positive, isang negative. So, sasagot, negative na siya. And then, 5 times 6 is 30. Therefore, positive 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Next, 
negative 1 times negative 4 times negative 2. So, ngayon, tatlo yung minumultiply natin. Pero, sabi kanina sa rules, sa dalawang factors lang siya, sa dalawang integers. So, paano natin kukunin yung product ng tatlo? So, para makuha natin yung product ng tatlo, or ng apat, or kung ilan man susunod na yun, more than 2, laging kunin mo muna yung dalawa, yung first two integers. So, negative 1 times negative 4. So, parehas negative, parehas ng sign, so that means positive. 1 times 4 is 4. So, that means negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 1. And then, positive 1, uh, sorry, positive 4 rather. Positive 4 times negative 2. So, positive 4 times negative 2. Magkaiba ng sign. So, positive negative. So, ang sagot, negative na siya. Then, 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, negative 1 times negative 4 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8. So, let's see kung naintindihan ba yung rules sa multiplication of integers. I want you to try this. Find the product of the following integers and then pakipose muna ulit para masagutan mo. And then once you have your answer, pwede mo nang i-continue ulit yung video na to. Okay, it seems na may sagot ka na. Uh, let's see kung tama yung sagot mo. And I hope you got perfect 10. If in case na hindi mo makuha, nakuha na perfect, pwede mong balikan yung video, pwede mong balikan yung examples para makita mo kung saan ka nagkamali. Okay? The last operation that we have is the division of integers. Actually, yung rules ng division of integers, kaparehas lang din siya ng rules sa multiplication of integers. So, paanong parehas ng rules si division at saka si multiplication of integers? So, let's have this. So, sa rules in division of integers, the first rule state that if two integers, the dividend, which is the first uh, integer, and the divisor, which is the second integer, have the same sign, then the quotient is positive. So, ibig sabihin, kapag nagdi-divide ka ng magkaparehas na sign, uh, parehas positive or parehas negative, the quotient is always positive. So, for example... So, positive 8 divided by positive 2, so parehas positive, so sasagot positive. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Therefore, positive 8 divided by positive 2 is positive 4. Next, negative 16 divided by negative 8, so parehas silang negative. So, sa quotient, positive na siya. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Therefore, negative 16 divided by negative 8, that is equal to positive 2. Another rule in the division of integers, uh, if two integers, the dividend and the divisor, have the different sign, then the quotient is negative. Ibig sabihin, pag magkaiba naman ng sign, isa positive, isa negative, then yung sagot, yung quotient, laging negative. So, for example, negative 15 divided by positive 3. So, isang negative, isang positive, sa sagot, negative. 15 divided by 3 is 5. That means, negative 15 divided by positive 3 is equal to negative 5. Another example, positive 20 divided by negative 5. So, isang positive, isang negative. That means, uh, negative sa sagot. Then, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So, we have now, positive 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4. I want you to try this. Find the quotient of the following integers. Pakipost yung video na to. And then once you have your answer, pwede mo na ulit i-continue tong video na to. Okay. It seems na may sagot ka na. Uh, kindly check your answers. I hope na nakakuha ka ng perfect uh, score. If in case na hindi man, pwede mo ulit balikan yung examples natin para makita mo kung saan ka nagkamali. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Hope you understand our lesson. Bye!